Alexa, shut it up. I feel so bad. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me just say I hate intros, but like, you know, hi, it's me again. If you haven't seen my face before, make sure to keep watching. Wait, if you haven't seen my face before, make sure to keep watching. I, I'm pretty sure it'll be worth it. I think it's worth it. Um, if you don't, then maybe you're just not one of the 98% that thinks it's worth it. It's that simple. It's just that simple. So like I was saying, if you're new here, oop, yeah, I have a water bottle on my bed and what about it? If you're new here, um, make sure to keep watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I will be putting that subscribe button on the screen so you don't forget. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'm not playing with you. Y'all be so unserious. Y'all literally be so unserious. Let me just start by let me just start by saying that I know finding your confidence or finding self-love or having self-love is not easy like it could be one of the hardest things ever for somebody to do honestly when i say self-love no we know what self-love means you know taking care of yourself putting yourself first majority of the time that you're not letting anybody get you you're not letting anybody get you You're not letting anybody get into your head. That's with anything, like whether they're calling you a name, stupid, you know, dumb, stupid and dumb, kind of the same thing. Stupid, dumb, ugly, worthless. Ooh. Ooh. Imagine somebody calling you worthless. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Just know that you literally are not worthless. And a part of finding yourself love is realizing that you have a purpose on this earth. If and you can you can probably think, oh no, I don't. Um, what would my purpose be? Everybody plays a role in everything, I feel like. I'm literally about to jump topics because my brain is everywhere and I can't stick to a single thought. Honestly, I I don't know. I don't know. Let me tell you my personal way of how I got my self-confidence because if you know me like pers if you know me personally, you know how I've always thought of myself as ugly. I've always thought of myself as like worthless or like I don't amount to anything or you know all of that stupid stuff. And when it comes to me feeling like I'm ugly, I really don't feel like I'm ugly anymore. And that's because I've done things for myself, like the little things matter. Small things that you do help you to find yourself more attractive, to find yourself, well, not to find yourself, to start loving yourself more or to even start loving yourself, period. Like I would get a haircut and I would feel good about it. And then it's just like, but back then I would never get haircuts and I would always feel like I'm ugly. So like, of course I'm gonna think I'm ugly. And then on top of that, I know I was not like the most attractive person and I was always getting called ugly. Let me, I'm pushing it, like I'm OD. I wasn't always getting called ugly, but I was getting called ugly more than cute. And it's also that don't expect everybody to to compliment you every single second of the day. Like it, that's not, how things work just because people are not complimenting you doesn't mean that you're not doing good or you don't look good like i said just the little things over the span of like months or years can help you out can help your um, mental can help your mind into you know finding yourself more attractive or loving yourself more or just loving yourself it's always like it's always good to tell yourself oh i'm attractive like you just it's like small things look at old pictures of yourself that you've taken of yourself or that someone that someone has taken of you and like i'm pretty sure you've liked the picture i'm pretty sure you liked that selfie that you took and just look at it and be like well i'm actually cute like i'm attractive like i don't know what these people were talking about i see what i'm supposed to now and what these people were saying calling me ugly i don't know what they were saying because it wasn't true it's always important to have your own opinion of yourself and honestly your own opinion of yourself should matter the most you shouldn't you really shouldn't care about other people's opinions because that's when everything will start going haywire crazy berserk if you will to be honest it's 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 really a challenge it is a challenge i know but you can do it like I did it and I know that to some people I've never been ugly but like when I was a child I'm not gonna say a child because I was a cute kid but then when I was a teenager ooh, oh, 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 so ugly so ugly 
But now, I think I'm really attractive. And I mean, you know you're attractive when people are staring at you or just like you're walking by and people just look at you and they're just like, like, girl, what do you want? Boy, what do you want? Stop staring at me. I mean, honestly, it's, it starts with you. So whether you want to start telling yourself you're attractive today or next week or next month or next year, by all means, do that. I don't know. Like, it, everything with you is on your pace, no matter what it is. Mindset, your goals, that's all on you. And you have time. Like, there's a lot of time to do a lot of things. And a lot of time, there's especially a lot of time to talk to yourself. Because you can talk to yourself any second of the day. Literally any second, which you cannot talk to other people any second. Of, you can't talk to another person any second of the day. But if there's one person you could talk to any second of the day, it's yourself because you're always with you. So why would you not want to love yourself? Why would you not want to think highly of yourself? Now, why would you not want to do good for yourself? Like what stresses me out the most is wanting to be great, wanting everything that I want now, which I know everything I want will not happen like this. Some people are lucky that they get it like that. Hopefully I'll be that next person that gets it like this. I know I'll get what I want. I know I'll get, no, no, no. I know I'll get everything that I want eventually. If it's not now, if it's not later, then I'll get it, wait, later is what? <laughs> if it's not now, then it's later. I will get what I want and that's that. If you're watching this video, maybe it might be for a reason or you're just, you're just bored, you're watching something but don't waste any time tell yourself you're cute tell yourself you'll be great in life tell yourself you'll achieve everything that you want to achieve tell yourself that you'll get that degree tell yourself that you will you want to be a doctor tell yourself you'll be a doctor tell yourself you'll make it tell yourself you will be something you will be someone that everyone will remember and if not everyone then the people that are close to you they will remember you they will love you they will think highly of you every and with any thought that they have just be that one person you know what i mean why wouldn't you want to be that why wouldn't you want to be great? Why wouldn't you want to have a positive mindset all the time? And this comes from me. I'm a negative ass motherfucker. I'm literally so negative, but like, I'm trying to get out of that. So I've been telling myself great things, like how I've been telling myself great things in this video. Is this video just for me? No, it's for everybody. It's for anybody that's, you know, going through things that don't believe in themselves, that find themselves ugly. You're not ugly. Trust me. like there would be people that there would be people like even in the past there would be people that other people would think are ugly and I would look at them I'd be like they look normal like they don't they're not ugly they just look normal and then I would think to myself wow they look like a normal human human being why do I look like this like I honestly I felt like I was a fucking alien I felt like I was I don't know but it's actually ridiculous this ill <laughs> This angle please please this angle please so this is the, gonna be the end of the video it's gonna be the end so no i have to end this with my british accent i can't even speak right now like this hat is hugging my head so tight this benadryl got me drowsy like i don't know thank you for watching this video if you like it if you look if Ew, I swear I could do a better accent than this. If you like it, ew, no. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And then, if you want, you can put my notifications on. That's, it's, given, it's given Australian, like that's what it's given. That's really what it's given. And I'm not here for it. I promise you, once I cut this camera off and I start talking this British accent, this English accent, it's so great. It's, um, it's amazing. It's really amazing, mate. May is literally Australian, isn't it? Do you guys see what goes on in my head? You see what goes on in my head? Let me stop this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, um, and turn on post notifications, like so you know, so you see when I post. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I promise. I'm gonna try to make more videos. I'm gonna try to not be a flop. I'm gonna try to not be. Como se dice? A lazy hoe. Per, period. Per.